Express. Dress like a pro. And coming to you today from Portland, Oregon, on the banks of the beautiful Willamette River, it's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Well, Damian Lillard is not just the best player on the Blazers. He's the team's unquestioned leader. But he said leadership is not all about talking. It's about letting others hold you accountable, too. Being coachable and committing to a common purpose. For him, guys, being a leader doesn't mean he puts himself above his teammates. I like that story, David, and a good attitude. Great job. Thank you so much. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at Chicago. They're in the upper part of the conference records right now, in fifth place. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they're one of the NBA's early season success stories. They've made an immediate push toward the top of the standings. Greg, I wish I could say I saw this coming, but I had no idea. They put it together so early. Tremendous job by the coaching staff. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Markin and Carter are up front. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's done in at the... It takes a new system to get the kinks out and work properly. Yeah, hopefully you have veteran players because they can adapt the system a little bit quicker. Younger players, they might not, you know, know the lingo. They might not know necessarily where to be. So you, you have to practice. And with practice time not being as a premium like it used to be, it's a little tougher. So uh, it, it takes a while. You want to make sure you kind of look at the season, uh, 82 games. You look at them in four 20-game stretches. And you hope by that second 20-game stretch, you're into finding your rhythm as a team. And the team's starting to, to, to hone in on those little details. Good perspective. Here's Lillard. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. B, the pass to Levine. Bulls moving the ball around. Now the pass to B. Just four to shoot. Plays it up off the glass. And watching Che, you can see that he is starting to put in the extra work at the gym. It, it takes a lot of reps to make it in the NBA, and the results are starting to show. Well, you said it. It isn't just the skill improvement. Extra workouts go a long way in building camaraderie with the rest of your team. All those things are right in there. And it's Lillard missing. Setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Yes, that goes in. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, yeah. And so far, both teams have been outstanding at the offensive end, but we've got a lot of game left to play. Hood, the pass to Lillard. That's tipped. Levine with it. Now guarded by Hood. Here's B. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. To the paint. Here's Lillard. Makes it off the glass. Lillard's got nine points. He's finding some good shots early on, and what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Bulls shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And, and how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Kent Bazemore is checked in for the Trailblazers. And Chicago also making a switch. White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And Lillard kicks to Hood. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's just razor sharp concentration. Hood is fantastic at keeping his composure in difficult situations. Bulls making a switch here. Murray is checked in. And the pick and roll tandem of Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic, one of the most unstoppable in our league. Yeah, uh, Nurkic as a role man, not only a scorer, but also a capable passer, too. They had the second most assists on the team last season. He and Litter have mastered the nuances of, of the pick and roll game. Baysmore passes to Gasol. Back to Baysmore. 
Shot clock at five. Down low. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist by Bazemore. And the long arms that Gasol has is what allows him to drop dunks on defenders. What a powerful force close to the rim. Pass to B. Feeds to Young. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Lillard, the pass to Gasol. Outside hood. Over in the corner, Lillard. No good from outside. The Bulls leading by six. Here's B, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Nasir Little picks one up. And, and the Bulls last year, Kevin, had a lot of holes in their teams. They struggled on offense as well as defense, and their lack of outside shooting was one of their bigger issues. See, we have the Bulls last year, bottom two offense in the league. Yeah, only slightly better than the Knicks. I mean, you know, Kevin, injuries hurt. And they had to suit up 22 different players last year. But overall, this team has a lot of work to do on the offensive end to improve. Here's B. Young pass to B. The 10 footer. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Trailblazers trail by five. Lillard surveying the D. That one drops for him. Gasol's got his second basket of the night. He creates so much offense. I mean, Lillard puts intense pressure on the defense uh, to react. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Here's B. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. Yeah, easy call. The Bulls have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. All free throws good from B. 24 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Lillard. That's good. He's five for nine. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Knocked loose. Young pass to B. And the layup's good off the glass. B's got 16. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Right back after this break. The leadership mantle, something that Damian Lillard welcomes. He talked to a lot of responsibility. When things go bad, you know. Right on the money, as always, Lillard has excelled in that leadership role. Yeah, I mean, he plays with so much confidence and, and composure. But also, it's the way he includes his teammates and gets to know them as individuals that makes him a franchise player. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams. But they did it very well. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. We've got Murray. B out there with White. Then it's Young, and it's Blakeney in at the three. And Portland making a change here as Armour's checked in. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. One of the game's elite scorers and closers, Damian Miller. With the game on the line, you know what time it is. It's Dame time. Chris, you talk about degree of difficulty. Damian Lillard takes and makes some incredibly tough shots. Oh, Kevin, the percentages don't do him justice. I mean, off the dribble, contested, from deep. Lillard is always a threat. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Trailblazers. They trail by six. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night 
for them offensively. Well, you know the ball movement was lacking. And, Greg, you know things got stagnant. That's why that offense looked so off. Here's Levine. They get it back. Another shot. And another shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They get Paul Gasol. Uh, and, and the length of Porter that time is a problem for the D, especially when he's close to the basket. And, and they've done a better job at the line this quarter. They've got that free throw percentage up to almost 90%. Hey, look at guys like Otto Porter. Greg. He just brings so much with his consistent outside jumper. And, and guys, he's shot threes at a tremendous clip the last few seasons. I mean, really for his whole career, sometimes can be a bit passive. So you just make sure he's involved and looking for his shot. Well, you think about a franchise player, it's hard to find a better example than Damian Lillard. His play, his presence, Kevin, he's one of the most important players in Blazers franchise history. That free throw good from Lillard. Chris, you were talking about the presence of Lillard. Very cool and always composed. Oh, Kevin, I love Damian Lillard. I mean, he's from Oakland. He has that town toughness. He's got that dog in him. I mean, he speaks softly and carries a big stick. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And let's check out a breakdown. Looking at some stats from Arkanen. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately. Just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. Hey, Chris, with Dirk retiring, who now has the best fadeaway, you think, in the game from the post position? It's a man that stole his move. Now, he didn't need to steal it. He just added on to his game. He's, he's a great person. He's not a thief, but he uses that one leg kick fadeaway, and he's the same height as Dirk. Well, that's Kevin Durant, the best fadeaway in the game, mm. period. Towns is developing a nice one, too. Oh, you know what? I love Towns' games inside, and what makes Towns so good is that he can fade away over the right shoulder. And you know why that makes it so tough? Because he can come over the left shoulder with a jump hook. Most guys with the best fadeaways, they have a counter that already gets you hung in on that counter, and then when you're thinking about that original move, bam, it hits you with the fadeaway. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Gasol up top. Back to Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Lillard's got 13 points now in the quarter. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trailing. Lillard comes with the double team. Nurkic with the steal. And now running up the court, Lillard pushing it up. And he lays that one in. And now just a four-point Bulls lead. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Lillard comes with the double team and stolen by Lillard. Fast break. Here come the Trailblazers. Lillard with the ball. Offensive rebound. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Eight points for Nurkic. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Arkinen passes to B. Outside Levine. Pass to B. Pocket six. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Well, it tells you a lot about who was the more aggressive team. I mean, they should have that same exact attitude tonight. Young's checked in for Chicago. Outside Gasol. Addition out to Lillard. Portland again, missing. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's B. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop him. Lillard attacking, and they pick up two. Lillard's got 28. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Shots good from B. And the Bulls lead by six. 
Well, with the role he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him. Get that lead even bigger. Cullen passes to Gasol. To the middle. Here's Nurkic. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. And that's 10 points for Nurkic. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Shots good from Young. Well, and in terms of size, that's a mismatch he'll exploit every time, especially inside. Lillard outside from past the arc. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Kick out to Levine. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. B the pass to Young. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Young's got six. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it in. Three-pointer Lillard. The shot will not fall. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle. Killing it tonight, Shay. Thanks, Coach. Love the intensity. You get an open look, keep taking it, all right? That's yes, what I want to see. Stay aggressive. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. For the Trailblazers, Al Gasol is checked in for Nurkic. Ken Bazemore comes in for Hassan Whiteside. Rodney Hood subbed in for McCullough. So, Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Antonio Blakeney comes in for Porter. White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And B, subbed in for Chris Dunn. Lillard and Hood work together in the backcourt. Hazonia out there with Kent Bazemore. And it's Gasol in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Yeah, Kevin, in last season, the Bulls making a deadline deal for Otto Porter. I mean, they were doing what they could to add to their youth core. Uh, they have quite a number of very young contributors. And finished off by Gasol. And it doesn't take a whole lot of effort for Gasol to dunk it home. At seven feet tall, he uses his height to power home those games. MC Webb guys like Levine and Carter, Markinen and Porter make up the core of this Bulls team. Yeah, Kevin, the Bulls were the second youngest team in the league last year. I mean, I know they're rebuilding and looking to the future. I mean, they have talent. It's just a matter of growing the right way. And the Bulls making a change here. Levine's checked in. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Not that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Lillard. Trills his third three of the half. I mean, that's 15 points from long range for him. But shot's good from B. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. White against Hood. Dishes it to Lillard. The three. And now, here's his own young, guarded closely. And it's Lillard missing. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. And it's sent back by Lillard. Here's his own young. Offensive rebound. And that one's good, Lillard. Lillard's got 13 points in the second half. I love how Lillard takes the initiative on offense. I mean, Kev, he's a creative and talented guard who's been absolutely on fire. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, yeah the Blazers boasting one of the game's elite backcourts in Damian Lillard and C.J. McCullough. I mean, other than the Splash Brothers, these two have the most points and three-pointers of any duo over the last handful of seasons. McCollum's checked in for Kent Bazemore. Pass to McCollum. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. 
And the Blazers used to stagger Lillard and McCollum's minutes. Chris, now they've embraced these two playing together more often. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and they should, Kevin. I mean, they're both standing about 6'3", so defensively they give up a little height. But on the offensive end, the firepower that they bring to bear is something to watch. The shot's good from B. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Now here's Lillard. D right on him. And Lillard gets double teamed. And a wide open look for McCollum. Portland no good that time either. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. The shot's good. B's got 38 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Oh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And the development of Damian Lillard helping propel this Blazers team to the top of the West. Yeah, G.A., that's why they call him Logo Lillard. And he's only extending his range. I mean, another playoff dagger in his resume, finishing off OKC and then waving goodbye. Dame time is right now. Jacks up a three, and it's Portland with the rebound. Gasol's got seven rebounds in the game. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. From outside the arc, and there's Lillard. That's good on the assist by McCollum. McCollum's got six assists here tonight. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. No good from B. Trail Blazers trail by three. Lillard, the pass to Hood. And Lillard kicks to McCulloch. Back to Lillard. To the inside. Here's Azania. And he lays it straight in. Azania's got 10. Well, this is one area where Lillard wants to develop. He knows his team needs his playmate. Oh, How about that? And just when it looked like the third quarter was over, that happens. They pin three more onto the lead at the last possible second. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams play. Bulls lead by four from Portland. We're back in a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Young and Carter are the big men inside. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's B in at the point. Here's Azania. Lillard outside. Down low, Gasol kicks to Hazania. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Gasol's got three assists in the game. And what about the way Gasol sees the floor? So gifted at whipping the ball all over to the open man. Gasol with the steal. McCollum with the ball. Lillard outside. From 15 feet away, here's Azania. Off target from outside. The Bulls leading by four. Veen passes to Porter. Young with no one around. That one rolling around and rims out. He's as surprised as anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually counter. Hood's gone one of four from the field. Outside, Levine. Here's B. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Bulls lead by six. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Pau Gasol. And the Bulls making a change also. Markinen's checked in. Lillard outside. Nurkic kicks to Hood. 
There's the pass to McCollum. Four on the shot clock. Over Levine, and the basket by McCollum. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. The Bulls leading by four. Doubled by McCollum. Inside. Stolen by McCollum. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. And the shot goes in. Lillard's got 48. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. They get a hand on it. Nurkic with the steal. And now McCollum running the floor all by himself. And he hits it to tie the game up. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. To the paint. B the pass to Young. Yep, that one goes. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Lillard outside. Puts it up. He got it again. Sensational. My goodness. 50 for the A. Yep, he is putting on a show. And Lillard is going to pick up the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And that is a huge call. That... And Chicago has possession. Doubled by McCollum. Nurkic with the steal. Drops in the breakaway layup. Nurkic has got six here in this quarter. Well, this is what you want from Nurkic. A fearless player who welcomes the chance to take important shots. Chicago calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit. Calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. The chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, B. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Mario Hezonia has checked in for the Trailblazers. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 12-4 run. Carter outside. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. And there it is for him. Now it's just a three-point Bulls lead. Got to like how Carl McCollum is. Even in big parts of the game, you can depend on him to step his game. B the pass to Carter. Here's B, marking and trying to break loose. And the Bulls with another miss. And so it's McCullough. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's his third foul of the game. Bobby Hood's checked in for the Trailblazers. One nineteen left in the fourth quarter. Just five to shoot. Right side. That falls. Nice feed that time for McCollum. McCollum's got nine assists now tonight. Here's B. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. Oh, no. Don't tell me. He just didn't do that, did he? Critical point of the game. He makes just about the worst mistake possible. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Simons has checked in. And here's McCollum. To take the lead. That one wide left. Here's Chicago. It's a one-point game. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. They get Hassan Whiteside. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. 
and Portland making a change here. Trent's checked in, so he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by three. 35 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Terry Stotts just went over his game plan with his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Thanks, David. McCollum, no good. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Our timeout called by Portland. They're behind by four. Twelve seconds left to play in the final quarter. Passes it to Bazemore. His own on the way. No good on the triple. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying... Hey, man, this is Kenny, man. I thought your coach did a great job on the offensive end to get you open. Getting you into a rhythm was important. What was he telling you before the game? You know, Kenny, he was just telling me to stay patient, man. Work within the system. We do a good job of creating space to give scorers like myself room to operate. That spacing also allows us to control the matchups, forces the defense to make difficult decisions and adjustments. It's all about the spacing, man, spacing. Yep, and we're going to give you some space, man. Go get your shower, man. <laughs> Will do. Yo, yo, listen up. I want to handle the game ball real quick. Now, I think we all know who earned it, right? Come up here, man. Hey. You busted your behind tonight on both sides of the floor. Nice work, man. That's all I do. Good job, boy. 